Hey, what's up everybody? David Burns, good to be with you today. Out in the shop again today, hanging out on a Saturday. Hope you're having a good time. We've got some um, things we're gonna try out today. You guys really enjoyed my video that I made about scoring the inside of your hive. So I thought I would answer the ton of questions. Well, it wasn't a full ton. It was about a pickup load truck of comments that you left. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Asking me different questions about, have you tried this? What about that? Would that work? So we're gonna try a few things today to see how well these things work. And by the way, the whole reason that we're doing the scoring of the inside of our hive boxes is because some studies have shown that it does help in a little bit in uh, controlling pathogens in the hive. Um, so the comments are really good. I just printed a bunch of them off. Wow, I really like interacting with you guys when you leave comments. I wanna start with the first one. This was from uh, Truther Joe 5286 He says, quiz time. How do you pronounce, how do you pronounce it? A, is it propolis? Or B, is it propolis? Winning team gets free bees. No, nobody gets any free bees from me. <laughs> but it is a good question. How do you pronounce it? Um, you know, when I made that video, I sometimes I would say propolis, other times I'd say propolis. Now, I went back and looked into it kind of in great detail. I asked some very smart people, smarter than I am, and I had mixed results, actually. Some of them said you say propolis, and um, some that I really respected say that you say propolis. I don't think it makes any difference at all. It kind of depends on where you're from, where you live, what people say in your area, I think. Now, I respect Dr. Marla Spivak that did a great talk at the Bee Expo, and she has done the research, extensive research on propolis, and she says propolis. And if I'm gonna follow anybody, I think I would follow Marla. I really respect all the work that she does. And other people that I respect, they all say propolis. But I do hear people that I respect say propolis. So, now listen, here's one way to think about it, maybe. Um, let's take the word professional. How do you say professional? You say professional. I have heard some people say professional. He's a professional. If you say it fast enough, you can't tell the difference. How about progress? He's making progress. He's making progress? Now, I've not heard progress, but I have heard progress. See what I mean? <laughs> so you're gonna hear me say it both ways because I wanna make everybody happy on my YouTube channel. That's my goal in life. <laughs> no, not really. That's impossible. But uh, I will say it both ways. So I like some of the comments that you left and one of them was, should you, you are, have you tried using a hand saw? I, this is a small hand saw made for tree cutting. Um, there are uh, hand saws that are made for wood. I didn't grab that. I'm gonna try this one first. Somebody said, torch it, burn it. <laughs> and they said you should score the inside with a flaming torch. We're gonna try that on one of the walls. Somebody else said wire brush. And so I got my wire brush on my drill. We're gonna see how that works as well. We'll do these little things and experiment. A lot of you had great ideas. And um, I think for me, I like the wallpaper scorer only because it is supersonic fast, right? You just set it up there and you're kind of done with it. I think, it, I think some of these things are gonna take a little bit longer, a little more detail, but we'll see. So before we get into it, let me encourage you guys, please subscribe. I appreciate you so much for subscribing and give me a thumbs up. Helps my video a lot. I work hard for you guys. So looking forward to a lot of videos in 2024. You'll wanna subscribe so you won't miss a single one. Give me a thumbs up. But I do wanna address one comment that says, old news. <laughs> so in other words, some people watch a video and they, they see it. That's old news. This has been around forever. But my response was, and I'm going to leave it here in case you don't read my comment, uh, reply to comments. Yeah, a lot of things I talk about on my channel are old news. In fact, the point of me making the video about scoring the inside of your box was showing you guys that I was doing this, what was it, a decade ago or 10 years ago, I think. So it is a little bit old news, but what happens is, it sometimes gains more traction or new traction. And so even though it might've been a little bit of a thing a long time ago, somehow with the social media and all, something that it's old news can be picked up and presented in such a way that it's, wow, it's good news, it's great news, it's new news. But on the other hand, there are so many new beekeepers coming into beekeeping that even though it was something that was done 10, 20 or 100 years ago, if it's their first time of ever hearing about it, it's new to them. So on my channel, I try to present everything 
And sometimes, yeah, I present it again just to remind people that are new to it, hey, this is something that goes on. So from Frog Surfer 4403, easiest way that I have found for scoring hive box is to use a wood hand saw. Hold the saw, uh, hold the saw sideways by the blade, not the handle, and drag the teeth across the wood. Drag it in one direction at an angle and then the opposite direction to create a cross path or hatch pattern in the wood. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna try it. So I guess he's wanting me to kind of do it like this. All right, let's give it a try. Hold it by the blade. Now this, these teeth are excessively aggressive. Look at that. See how aggressive these teeth are? Either I'm not doing it right, or I'm not pushing down hard enough, but I am pushing down pretty hard. And I just don't know, let's see. Ah. Well, hmm. Ooh, I, I, I'm not impressed with that. I, I know you're not probably gonna be able to tell um, on the camera maybe, but I just can't really see that much being done. But it's not to say that it's not gonna work. I think I need somebody to show me how to do it better. It's not bad when I was doing it earlier. I'm not really, now I'm gonna to have to revisit that again because I can see, I can see the cuts. Let me try it again. I'm gonna put more, I'm gonna put a little more weight in there and see what I can do. I'm gonna push harder on the box, I mean on the blade and drag it a little tighter, harder down. Yeah, I don't know, I, it takes, it, it's a good form of exercise. <laughs> I think you could really uh, build up your upper muscles and your arms and core. Yeah. All right, I'm not giving up on this. I'm kind of liking this. Ooh, that was my fingernail. Ooh, that didn't feel good. Kind of bent my fingernail backwards. <laughs> oh. I kind of like that. I, I'm, not, I'm not feeling too, I'm not hating that. Look at that, can you see it on that camera? I mean, can you see it on that camera there? Maybe with the light just right? I'm not, I'm not hating that. It's, it's not terrible. I kind of like it actually. The cross pattern, I mean, now I'm starting to like that a lot. Isn't that funny how I was ready to give up and then I thought, oh, I can see, I can see how that's working. That's actually, that's actually quite impressive. I like it better than the wallpaper score. <laughs> my, well, I don't know because, so when I was doing my studies a decade ago, one of the things I did was, I'll, I'll try to include a picture here. I actually sampled some um, cardboard. So I ripped the paper off of one side of cardboard and that corrugated cardboard has those little valleys and hills in it, you know? And so the bees actually did fill it fill the valleys up with propolis. So that what we're trying to do here is the same thing, trying to create some of those valleys, make it a little bit rougher. I like that, yeah. Now this is a, like I said, a very aggressive tooth a saw, more than a hand saw. This is a thing for tree trimming, cutting. But those extra long teeth, um, yeah, I'm totally impressed. I really am. I don't know what's just, I'm beside myself. Now, before we try our next method, let me encourage you guys to please check out my online beekeeping courses. So many of you have bought these over the years and I think you're really gonna enjoy them, especially those of you that are really new to beekeeping and you may not know exactly what you need to know yet. And so this will help you a lot. I'll leave a link right here. You can check it out. Now let's start working on this box. This commenter says, I wonder if you would get similar results using a drill with a wire wheel. I think an angle grinder with, while, with a wire wheel might be too aggressive. I don't expect you to make the same video twice, but perhaps a comparison. What I'd like to do is try this. Now this is a uh, wire brush on a drill, and I like to put it in reverse because it's gonna throw the sawdust that way. And I'm gonna just try to see how this works. We'll just see one little area here. I am really gonna start an exercise video for beekeeping. <laughs> 
This is a really strengthening exercise of your arms and your core, stomach muscles, pushing down on this drill bit like this. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was cool. Wow. Look at that. It's not bad. And I guess you could do it the other way. It might be better. Let me try it the other way. Because, you know, we're kind of getting um, the, the grain of the wood. We're kind of blowing out uh, the material between the, I guess, the peak of the grain. Now this is just the initial experimentation, but all right, I, woo! <laughs> I think that's winning in first place actually. Definitely, definitely first place better than the handsaw. Wall right here, I can't get the lights just right, but maybe you can see. And this camera here, let's see if we can get that to show that. Yep, yep. Very impressed with that. I like it. Yep. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if you have no idea where to buy one of these little wire brushes. Um, I use these to clean up so much stuff. So I have a lot of these around the, the shop here, but that was really impressive. Now, one thing we want to try too is the blow torch method. So a comment says burning the inside slightly has the same effect. The pulp burns faster, leaving the ridges in the wood but the black char left behind gets tracked through the hive and blackens even the comb. Mmm, that may not be good. Maybe, I don't know. I have heard that the smell of burnt wood also attracts bees, but I cannot confirm that. Roughing the inside will be much neater hive. Okay, fair enough. Um, I, in the old days, I used to, I mean, really old days, probably back in the 90s, early 90s, I used to actually score burn the inside of my hives, if for no other reason, somebody told me to each winter. So that's something that we did, cleaning up old boxes. So let's see what happens. So before I light the torch and potentially burn my shop up, let me encourage you guys to please join me on my live stream every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. Always have a ball with you guys. Beak Squad, all of us come together and we have a great community. We do a lot of uh, encouraging of each other and we always have giveaways and we always share a lot of answers to the questions that you have. So join me. I'll leave a link right here, seven o'clock, every Thursday night live stream, talk to me live. Oh, by the way, this really is great for starting your smoker too. Ooh, we're gonna have to really get that hot, aren't we? Where's my nearest smoke detector? Might have the fire department here. We'll do a little section to avoid the fire department uh, being part of the video. <laughs> oh, that's making way too much. This is something to do outdoors if you have smoke detectors. All right, that's enough. Yee. I live way out in the country and I want to start a fire. I'll let that cool off a little bit. Oh, not, a, not as impressive as the uh, sander is. Not at all, but it's hot. Wow. It, it is working a little bit, but that's gonna take a lot of fuel. Another commenter said, how about a rough sandpaper scuffing? Maybe there is some sandpaper that's really rough and I don't have any. I'm doing the same thing with rough uh, sawn lumber. Yeah, I think the rough sawn lumber is a really good thing. Some, some lumber you can buy is smooth on one side and it's just really rough on the other side that would really accomplish it without having to do anything. Now, one of the questions I have to deal with today, I think I had two of these, and it's a very good question. Here it is, are you ready? This is from Be Amazing Hives, and he talks about the wallpaper remover. But then he says, I'm just wondering if scoring the boxes then, make, uh, then making the girls spend their time gathering and applying propolis is worth it. Maybe letting the girls 
forage more for pollen and nectar is a better use of their time. And I had a similar question um, from John. My question would be, is it adding more work to build propolis on the walls when they could be building wax or honey? It's definitely not a bad thing. Very good point. I want to say a few things about that. Uh, let's talk about um, whether they could be making wax or honey. Um, that's legit. I think um, in one sense, uh, 12 to 17 day old bees are wax producers, but it's the foragers that are going out and getting the propolis. However, uh, for, you know, the foragers are going to be over 23 days old and they're going out and getting the propolis and bringing it back. However, when they get back, they're not capable of removing it themselves from the pollen basket. And so they have to have other bees around the neighborhood to help them out. So it does take uh, more energy on the part of the, of the hive to deal with the propolis. I want to talk more about it, so hang on. Um, so the idea is it keeping them from going out and getting nectar and pollen. Here's the thing, you know, even though we know bees have specific jobs that they do at different ages, um, there are some bees that do certain things and that's what they're assigned to do. So it's very, very likely and probably proven that bees are gathering propolis at the same time other bees are gathering pollen and nectar. So in other words, you don't have your entire 100% of the foragers going out and getting propolis. It seems like they divide this up anyway. Now, they're going to do it anyway but I understand your question about if you score your edges and force them to do it more, then would it cut down on the hive being able to just bring their normal resources in uh, instead of this uh, amount of propolis? And um, I, think, I think there's been some studies done that show there isn't any difference, but I can't say I've heard people say that, that I've heard people just say, oh, there was a study done on that, but I've not read it. Um, so I think it's possible, obviously, that they might work a little harder to bring that propolis in there. But on the other hand, bees love to bring propolis in their hive. If you look at bees in a natural habitat, such as a tree, like I showed in the, the original video, they propolize the entire uh, circumference of that tree on the inside. At some point, they were bringing all that propolis in there and coating the inside of their hive. So that's something that I'm not too concerned about. Plus, many beekeepers do gather propolis and propolis traps. And I've made videos about that because you can sell propolis. A lot of people buy, a lot of places buy propolis. And so when you do that, they seem to add a lot more propolis in the hive. Another comment says, could you do a follow-up video showing the propolis on what bees do to the box? Yeah, as soon as I get out of winter in about three more boring, long, dark months, <laughs> I certainly will do that. But it's going to be a little bit of time before I can get back out there. I'm still trying to keep my bees alive in the winter by feeding them and uh, making sure they stay to toasty warm out there. But it's been tough. I was on my way out to the shop. I overheard some people talking about putting a few more winter bee kinds online. So, I mean, don't leave the video yet. Watch the video. But maybe you'll want to check to see if we have some winter bee kinds uh, online. We sold out this year pretty fast, but I understand that uh, they're kind of making some more. So if you want to check that out, we always have the Burns feeders as well, getting ready for spring. You're going to need those feeders in the spring, especially feeding bees coming out of winter or making splits. Well, this is a lot of fun, guys. I always like being out in the shop with you guys. Thanks, it's raining. I can hear rain hitting the shop and hearing that. that's such good news because we have had such a dry spell and we need our well filled up. I've been hauling water um, and uh, not been fun there, kind of watching, our, watching how much water we use. Now we can just take a long shower since we've had so much rain lately. But before I go, let me encourage you to watch the video that started all these questions. It's about the use of scoring your boxes to help your bees stay a little bit healthier. Here's the original video from a week ago. See you guys over there.